today I will be reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 6 inch figures and I will be reviewing Leonardo from the 1990 film and yes it is finally awesome I get one of the new figures in this new toy line made by Playmates and here's Leonardo and he looks pretty good in the front of the packaging and it looks like Leonardo from the actual movie and it says included by 1999, 1990 movie. And here's Leo in disguise. Here's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, Nickelodeon logo. And here's a good image of Michelangelo. And if I look at the top of the packaging, here's some good image from the film. And it has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, Nickelodeon. And, and here's more images from the movie. Right here, a foot ninja, Michelangelo. And there's nothing else about it. And if I turn the packaging around, you can pause the video and read it, read it about. And here's Michelangelo again with his disguise. And here's... Here's the turtles, and you can read that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And here's the YouTube channel. You can go visit them and their Facebook account. And here's the Playmates logo again. And here's the Nickelodeon logo again. And yeah, there's nothing about it. And I found this guy at Walmart for $19. And I will take him out of the packaging right now because I want to take a look at him and see how he feels. And yeah, I will do that right now. And here's Leonardo out of the packaging. And yes, it looks pretty cool. And Playmates Toys look really did a great job making this figure. And pretty much, I really like the, uh, the fabric on this jacket. And... He does come with his, his sword holder to hold his katanas. Here's his katanas right here. And he comes with a hat. And the one thing I noticed about the hat, it's so soft and it feels so good. Because I remember in the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line, they really made a disguised Raphael figure. But the disappointing part, because the hat was not... Not soft, but it was plastic. But it's a good thing they give him a soft hat. And here's you can do with the hat. I have Leonardo. And you can put the hat right here. To just... And it just falls off easily, if you see right here. But it's not a big deal. I still like this figure because it looks pretty cool still. And pretty much, yeah. He has articulation and right here. And the arm, same right here, because he can't move his arm all, all the way because his jacket is in the way. And he has articulation in the legs. He can bend down on his knees, if you see right here. Bend down in his knees. And, yeah, I'm not going to bend down his knees so much, but I just got them to bend down right here. And it does look pretty cool, and I will... Size comparison Leonardo with my other figures I got in so far. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I will size comparison with my other figures. And here's Leonardo with size comparison. War Machine from Avengers Endgame. And Boba Fett from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And here he is with alternate cannon bolt. And pretty much, if I move Cannonball out of the way, he's pretty much in good scale with Boba Fett and War Machine. Because both of them are 6-inch figures. And it does look pretty cool seeing both of them side by side. And if I take out Boba Fett, he's in good scale with War Machine. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And if I take out War Machine, he's pretty much in good scale with Boba Fett because... He is a 6 inch figure, and so is Leonardo. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, and I really like this figure. And I give Playmate stars, 5 stars on this figure. And it does look pretty cool, and pretty amazing. 
and leave a comment and go subscribe to my channel and go check out my videos and have a nice day all of you.